Hi, I'm Ronnie. And this is... Ryan Lion. Ryan Lion. And we are here for another installment of Greenlight Bites Produce Picks. And Ryan... And chocolate chips. Ryan bamboozled me out of a few chocolate chips in a bowl. What can I say? <laughs> anyway, um, okay, so kohlrabi is what we are working with today. And let me tell you, we have a few announcements. First of all, my co-host now is officially how old? Five. Yesterday was his birthday. Can you believe it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And last week we joined I want to make chocolate. Go ahead, have a ball. Yesterday we had, um, or last week, we also joined a CSA, which is a community supported agricultural farm. And so I've been planning a whole post about this, and I talked a little bit about it on Ronnie's Way, and I'll link over to that. Um, I'm trying to get mixed up. But the, uh, the idea behind a CSA is that we pay a yearly membership fee, which for the one that I'm doing is $700 a year. And then weekly through the growing seri se um, season, we go to the farm and we pick up our share. Um, and that's what the farm produced that week. So we got loads of greens and vegetables I've never heard of. This is so exciting for me. One of the things that was in last week's share was kohlrabi. And I have never heard of such a thing. Or I, I might have seen them in pictures, but I never... Um, I don't know, I was never inspired to pick up something that looks like this. I mean, it's super crazy intimidating, isn't it? I like them. Yeah, so I should say this produce pick, we've already tried it, so it's not one of those videos where we're trying on the first time on my camera, but I figured we'd try it again with you. Now, what I learned about these in a little bit of research that I've done is that you can also eat the leaves if they're fresh. Now, I'm not sure quite what to do with the leaves, so we, we're, we're not braving that Part. We're going to focus on the bowl right now, and I think you can also buy the root, but I'm not sure about that. Other kohlrabi experts will have to chime in in the comments. But um, it's it looks intimidating, but it's actually super simple. Okay, you're going to have to stop being <laughs> It's super simple. He's trying to dissolve chocolate chips in water. I hate to tell him it's never going to work. It's not going to work unless you heat the water up. And then you won't have chocolate milk. You'll have chocolate water. Anyway, um, <laughs> you basically pull off these leaves, and this is where I had the little guy helping me um, last week. Do you want to help me pull off these leaves instead of trying to dissolve chocolate and water? Can you help me pull these off, please? Thank you, sir. I'm going to move it over to the side just so you can spill it here. So you basically pull off these leaves, and you smack your mom in the face with one. <laughs> Don't do it! Don't do it! <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. It's like a big fan. Ryan, that Ryan. <laughs> they are very, very big leaves. Can I have that one no, for Kitty Cool? Oh, good idea. It's like a fan. Oh, kids. <laughs> pull, pull, pull. Got it. All right. <laughs> All right, you can have one. That's not the one you want. All right, so what you're left with is this, the actual bulb of the kohlrabi. Now. Let's be both to eat up the kohlrabi, and it tastes really, 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 really good. You heard it from a five-year-old. All right, so here it is. It's like a, I don't know, it's about the size of a, an, a small onion, like a sweet onion or a tennis ball. So there is a skin. So you want to cut the skin. I'm actually going to use my big knife here to cut off. There's a kind of a, a where it was attached to the root. I'm going to cut really that off. really sharp, so don't. Cut yourself. Yes, yeah, so you have to be very careful Please with the Please don't knife. cut yourself. I'll be very careful with the sharp knife. There we go. I don't, I don't know if I cut enough off, but we'll see. So anyway, there's your skin. It's kind of like, and it's, I'm, I'm assuming it's related to broccoli or in some way, um, because it has a skin on the outside kind of like broccoli does, you know, on a thick stalk of broccoli. So you have to peel it. And right <laughs> So let me show you this a little closer. Ryan, please don't have me believe right now. Not while I'm cutting. I might cut myself. Um, underneath is kind of white, and the outside is a little greenish. So I don't know. You can see the thickness of the um, skin that I'm cutting off. It's not that much. Is you can kind of fresh? experiment with it. And Wait, are the leaves fresh? They are fresh. You're going to try the leaf? You tell me what the leaf tastes like. Good. Is it good? <laughs> 
real good. <laughs> Might not be the only five year old. He if was you trying to eat all. chocolate, it tastes good when you eat them. Or you try the chocolate one. Do you think kohlrabi leaves go with chocolate? Oh, maybe we can come up with some kind of kohlrabi leaf chocolate dish. That could be fun. So here, I'm peeling it like I would an apple, but, but the skin is a little thicker, maybe three or four times as thick as an apple skin. And I'm just taking off that skin. I got, I got chocolate chips Or potato. In here. I got chocolate <laughs> chips in here. I'm sure, you do? I'm sure I could use maybe a potato peeler you, but I didn't even think of that. Like I said, this is my first kohlrabi experience. So other people who have been eating them their whole lives, I'm sure will tell me I'm doing something wrong. Please advise away. I'm open for kohlrabi. I hate, I hope I'm even saying it right. <laughs> um, but I'm open to kohlrabi ideas. Okay, right. You're not saying it right. How do you say it? Kohlrabi. Is that right? Kohlrabi? My mom knew what it was. I didn't know what it was. Okay. All right, so we have the the peeled vegetable here. I think I have a little bit more of the root there. It's harder there, but that's all right. So now I am just eating them raw. I'm sure there's some kind of cooked dish with them or whatever, but... I like them raw. We like them raw. We try them raw. We like them raw. And who's not for raw vegetables? So what I did, I'll just show you what I did. I kind of sliced it like that. Let me stand up a little bit. You can't see what I'm doing sitting that far away. Can't see what I'm doing either. Can't see what you're doing. Hold on, let me just get a couple slices. Oh, I don't like you standing on the stool, please. Before you hurt yourself, please get down. I'm gonna sit down one. This is the last cut. Alright, so I cut it I have in, a whole piece. in rounds like that. Yeah, you want this one? Almost like chips. It's really crunchy, as you can tell. Let me check. And it tastes like the stalk of a broccoli, but better. <laughs> I don't know, there's something about it. It's just really good. Maybe it's because it's just the, oh, it's fresh, it's crispy. It almost has a little slight sweetness to it. I can see it in a slaw, very good. So what I did, because I didn't know what to do with it, I took these slices like this, and then I made strips like that. Where are the other pieces going? Yeah, give me that one. And then I had like okay. like slaw like pieces where I had little thin. I think this is called julienning, maybe. I don't yeah. know. I don't think it's the cooking terms much. Um, and then I topped them on a salad, and my word, they added such a great fresh crunch on top of a salad. Um, it was just a nice addition and a nice change to a boring old, like, you know, um, garden salad. And as you can see, very well received by the five-year-old population, or at least my five-year-old population. So, um, this is my new vegetable of, or my new, um, thing for the week. I did pose the Blog to Lose challenge this week on my other site, Blog to Lose. I'll link over to that, where I was challenging people to go through their local farm stand or their produce area of the grocery store and just look for something new that they've never tried before or something they may have forgotten about and they haven't had since they were kids because I think sometimes we focus way too much on what we can't eat and not focusing on all the wonderful things that we could eat. All right there, smarty pants. <laughs> Give me that leaf. <laughs> Give it to me. <laughs> and all yeah, the me when I sit on the camera, goof. He's gonna go get it. And all the wonderful things that we can. So, um, and just a side note, kohlrabi super light. I think a cup of it is only 36 calories, five grams of fiber, two grams of protein, I think. So what a great, great snack to munch on when you want nighttime crunch um, instead of potato chips. <laughs> but I'm gonna go and beat him with a leaf. And, um, <laughs> I hope you try something new this week. Until next week, bye guys. We fight. All right, ready? All right, you guys, this leaf. Oh, that leaf? All right, ready? Here we go.